Well, hello, my hooking homies. Welcome to another edition of what I'm calling hooking on the bed. <laughs> That's where I do most of my crochet, and it is 2 o'clock in the morning as I'm recording this. And I just thought I would come and show you guys what I'm up to right now. Uh, well, I had bought this Lion Brand Mandala, Mandala, however you pronounce it, sequins yarn. And even though there are 295 yards per cake, it is a lightweight three. And so, um, I deconstructed it. But here's why. It's a sequins yarn, but the sequins is super sparse in it. Like, really, really sparse. And of all the stitches I was thinking of trying, mm, you know, the majority of the sequins would end up lost on the, the back side of the project. i got to hit pause for just a second. Okay, so as I was saying, because the sequins in it is so sparse, and you got to figure that the majority of your sequins is going to end up on the back of your project where nobody's ever going to really see it. So, I decided that I, I want to do moss stitch because moss stitch is the same front and back so it won't matter and even further than that it'll either be um, a scarf or a cow preferably a cow but we'll see um, and I didn't want <clears throat> you know the moss stitch to run the whole length of this color to get to this color I want my moss stitch to be a different a different color each row so that it really changes it up and does it kind of like my um, wild, wild bleh, what did I call it wild flowers uh, moss stitch blanket that I did you know about a month ago if anybody keeps up with me so I really loved how doing each row in a different color really just made it pop so I wanted to do that here and by doing that, it'll really mix the, the stitches uh, really beautifully. I'm sorry. My brain is ahead of my tongue. It'll mix the stitches beautifully. It'll give it a lot of depth. And none of the um, <clears throat> sequins will get lost in it. That would be my only complaint is that there's just not enough sequence in it for my locking other than that it's a it's a really squishy really soft yarn I love line brand I think I can say without a doubt that line brand is my absolute favorite yarn company I love all kinds of yarns and I have all kinds of yarns but it does seem to me that you know line brand is continuously working on being inventive and coming out with all kinds of new things to keep their lines new and fresh and updated so I'm totally into that um but yeah that's what I'm doing I'm going to probably go ahead and deconstruct this that way I will be fully committed to the project and it doesn't take long because as you can see they're not very big there's just not I mean okay not much of each colorway even though it's what 293 yards or whatever it's it's really not much when you're talking about a three weight and when you hold it like that it's so pretty let's see here here's the darker blue Whoop. <laughs> maybe it'll capture that for the uh, thumbnail pic that would be that would be awesome There you go, YouTube. Take that for the thumbnail. Like it's going to listen to me. But anyway, I decided I would share what I'm up to, and now I'm going to get busy deconstructing this one. Alright, guys, have a great whenever you see this. <laughs> Talk to you later.